Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Justin Horn with a look at your morning forecast. Temperatures are starting off in the 70s, but we make it into the mid 90s this afternoon, much like yesterday. And we also have a lot of humidity out there. So the heat index that feels like number could be as high as 100 this afternoon. It is going to be a hot week. And the reason for that ridge of high pressure sitting right over Texas, that's taking away most of the rain chances, although there are a few showers right along the coast and it's cranking up our temperatures. We do need to point out, though, that Hurricane Fiona is moving across the Dominican Republic as we speak. There's the eye wall right there. Still bringing heavy rain to parts of Puerto Rico, where they've had a lot of flooding, power outages there. This storm, this uh, hurricane will actually strengthen some as we go forward. Winds at 90 miles per hour right now could go as high as Category 2 storm as it passes by the Bahamas and could be a major hurricane as it passes by Bermuda before weakening this weekend as it moves north. No effect on the U.S. mainland, though, and this ridge of high pressure really is what is in control of our weather, keeping us very warm through at least the weekend. And then it finally moves away. There are some indications we could get a front late Sunday into Monday that would cool us down a little bit. And boy, that sounds nice at this point, considering where we're going to be today. 95 again with the heat indices uh, close to 100. 95 Tuesday, 97 Wednesday, close to some records. We officially go into fall on Thursday, and that heat stays with us. 98 Friday, upper 90s Saturday, hopefully some relief by next week.